Hello, everyone. I'm Surajit Chatterjee, Chief Product Officer at Coinbase. I have spent the last two decades in Silicon Valley working with the smartest engineers, designers, and product managers, building products that grew to hundreds of millions of users and billions of dollars of revenue. In fact, I have taken at least seven products from zero to $1 billion in revenue. So how did I get into crypto? I was head of product at Flipkart in India. Flipkart is India's largest e-commerce portal, in case you didn't know. And Indian government just announced demonetization. 80% of our business was cash and delivery. That means we actually accepted cash from users and delivered the product. And demonetization mean, meant government actually made the current currency in circulation obsolete. So you had to go back to your bank, deposit your cash, and then wait for the government to print new cash. And then you can get, and get to spend your money. So our business tank immediately, but it kind of hit home for me even more when my eight year old dad had to wait for five hours in a line to get 2000 rupees of new currency out from his own bank account. 2000 rupees, is around $30 or so. It's not that much of money. And so he has to go back again in a few days. And he had no choice. India is mostly a cash economy. That's what got me into doing my own research into crypto and buying my first Bitcoin. As many of you know, with crypto, anyone with a mobile phone and internet connection can be their own bank and can access any financial product globally. I thought it was such a powerful concept. Fast forward a few years, when Coinbase team started talking to me about an opportunity, I felt I could not pass on this chance of a lifetime. I've always done things that I viscerally felt had the potential to change the world. And I think crypto and blockchain can bring in a transformation that will be even bigger than the internet. Today, I'm gonna to show you five product principles that help us build great products for this crypto economy. One of the fastest growing industries right now. But first, let's talk about money. The idea of money is actually one of the oldest ideas in the human experience. It emerged in prehistory a simple bartering, a way for people to represent value and exchange value. The Mesopotamian shekel, the first known form of currency, emerged nearly 5,000 years ago. But today's centralized financial systems still leave millions of people around the world without access to financial services. In fact, more than 50% adults globally don't even have access to any financial services. So they are either unbanked or underbanked. Many people, including us here at Coinbase, believe cryptocurrencies are the solution to global financial problems. Cryptocurrencies are based on blockchain technology, which are global and open networks. And as I said, you can be your own bank with just your mobile device and internet connection. We believe cryptocurrencies are going to create more economic freedom for everyone on the planet. Now, economic freedom actually has real implications. Countries with higher economic freedom often have higher life expectancy, literacy, income per capita, and they have lower infant mortality, corruption, unemployment, even war or violence. In fact, Growing economic freedom is our company's vision as well. As head of product at Coinbase, I feel enormous responsibility to build towards this vision. But before I dive into our product principles, let me talk through some unique challenges we face as a company that is at the cusp of a major societal transformation. We are seeing unprecedented global interest in crypto. Within a span of a few years, crypto markets have hit multi-trillion dollars in market cap. 
However, the most popular blockchain networks like Bitcoin and Ethereum weren't built for this sheer number of transactions that happen today. And as a result, it's increasingly expensive and slow to transact. The challenge for us is how do we make crypto affordable and efficient for all users? For some people, crypto has been all about investing, buying Bitcoin or buying Ethereum or any of the altcoins and holding them or selling them. But crypto is being used more and more for spending, for sending and receiving money, for storing value, for borrowing, for lending, and for paying. We are seeing an explosion of use cases and innovation in this industry. In fact, very few industries have experienced so much expansion in such a short period. Facebook had famously coined the term, move fast and break things. In crypto, we don't have that luxury. We are dealing with people's money and there is a premium on accuracy and reliability. No one wants to discover that they have lost a substantial portion of their livelihood because products were not adequately architected tested or maintained. So this is a huge responsibility for us in terms of building products that are battle tested, that are safe and secure for, to, to keep our users money. And finally, regulation. Compliance is in our DNA. We have taken regulation seriously from the very beginning of our journey. We need to deal with tens and sometimes hundreds of state federal and international bodies. All of them have very unique and sometimes conflicting perspectives about the crypto industry. In fact, a significant amount of our team, as much as 30 to 40% of our team is focused on making our products safe and compliant. So for every product we build, we think through the regulatory implications first. And we, we often consult with the regulators and iterate with them before we launch the product in any market. So how do we build products for such a unique market and what are our product principles? Our goal for the product is to build the world's best platform to help users, businesses, and developers participate in this new crypto economy. Next, I'll talk about our five core product principles. First, build for everyone. Crypto is still a nation space. Only 6% of the US population currently holds crypto assets in their portfolio. In order to bring in the next 100 million and a billion users, we need to ensure that crypto is easily understood and accessible for the average user, which means we need to build for everyone. I want to make sure that our product is so simple and intuitive that my eight-year-old dad can use it without any help. At the same time, expert crypto users should also find value in our product. And because crypto is an inherently global phenomenon, we need to be cognizant of how user preferences change, sometimes very dramatically in different countries. For example, a customer in Mexico who is receiving USDC remittances has entirely different needs than someone day trading Dogecoin in France. In case you didn't know, USDC and Dogecoin, those are different types of tokens that you can buy and sell on Coinbase and many other platforms. This means doing a ton of user research to understand the needs of our different user bases and building products in a way that adapts to the level of expertise the user has. That is a very big challenge. The next principle, build for scale, but as well as prepare for failures. So we have to build for all these different customer segments for, and, and globally, but if we, if we fragment our product and infrastructure too much, we lack, we lack the scale required to manage billions of dollars in transactions each day. Thinking globally at scale is how we attempt to balance these extremes. This also means preparing for huge peaks and valleys in crypto trading volume. Our daily volumes this year exceeded the peak volume during the last crypto bull run. However, how much we prepare 
a few things will always break. And we learn from every failure we encounter and keep making our systems more and more robust every single day. The next thing is trust. Trust and security is everything for financial application. If we lose our users' trust, it's extraordinarily difficult to recover from it. You may have seen horror stories over the last few years about hacks or scams that have robbed crypto users of their hard-earned money. We have been very fortunate at Coinbase. To this day, we have never lost users' funds as a result of a hack. But that result isn't just a consequence of luck. We invest an enormous amount of resources in trying to maximize the safety of our product. That means ensuring that our systems are resilient to attack and that we do proper KYC for every user on our platform and comply fully with anti-money laundering laws. The big challenge here is that in spite of all the warnings and education, users will make mistakes from creating very simple passwords to forgetting to set up their two-factor authentication or sharing their account with someone else and or sometimes even losing their, their mobile phone or devices uh, that they used to verify their account. Whenever we build a new feature, we meticulously think all the ways users may make mistakes and how they automatically correct for those mistakes. And often in the background, without the user knowing about those. And we also work on how do we gently nudge the, nudge the user back on the right path. The next principle is building crypto first. I mentioned earlier that crypto is different. Our goal here is not to just replicate what is built in Finance 1.0 in a digital way, but to create something that is crypto native and unique. We are always looking for ways to improve on what already exists and embrace the larger community. For example, DeFi is a decentralized form of finance that is reimagining many of the basic financial services. We launched Coinbase Cloud recently to help DeFi developers build at scale. We released a product called Rosetta, an easy method to integrate new blockchains as an open source project that we are building a community around. And we are investing in community grants to improve the core Bitcoin and Ethereum protocols. These are the many ways we engage with the community. And then the fifth principle is leading with innovation. As I have mentioned, crypto is constantly changing and we can't really deliver on our promise to customers unless we lead with innovation. In order to delight our users, we need to create a culture of innovation in everything we do. That means placing a lot of small bets, failing fast, and seeing what get, gains traction. We recently launched a program called Project 10% as a way to incubate new innovative ideas that are generated by our own team members. The idea is to put 10% of our resources into these high-risk innovative projects. But great ideas won't just come from within Coinbase. We have a robust ventures team that has made over 80 investments just in the last 12 months. So engaging with the community is a critical way for us to stay on top of the latest thinking in this industry. Thank you for spending this time with me. We are in a unique industry at a unique time in history. And I couldn't be more excited to lead the teams building products at Coinbase that are transforming our world. At Coinbase, we are working on a long-term plan to build a new financial system. A financial system that will be more fair, accessible, efficient, and transparent. And one that will help create more economic freedom for every person and business on this planet. Now that is really powerful, and it's what I love best about my job. As product managers, we have a unique opportunity to build products that truly impact our customers' lives for the better. 
And when you are breaking new ground, it's never going to be easy. There will be new challenges that you must overcome almost every day. But there's nothing more rewarding than knowing you are playing an important role in making the world a better place for everyone. In today's discussion, I shared some of the biggest challenges that we face here at Coinbase when building products. And the product principles we have adopted to guide us through those challenges. I hope you found this to be interesting and can use some of our learnings in your industry as well. And if any of you are interested in pursuing a career at Coinbase, please remember to check out coinbase.com careers. Thank you so much. Thank you.